Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Heart Gold. My name is the E-Pad in the last part. We actually uh, helped out with the power plant by giving it the machine part, and now everything's working back at Kanto. And in this episode, you might be wondering, why are we in a town that we have not been to before and actually headed there? Well, last time we left off, we were in uh, Saffron City. In this episode, we are in Fuchsia, 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 I don't know. The F city. Uh, don't ask me how I pronounce it. You might be wondering why I'm over here. I'll give two reasons. Um, but before that, I want to show how you can get here. Right here, you can head to Saffron City, head right, and use the cycling road. You have to have the bicycle to actually get here and take a good shortcut here. So it's pretty easy. So you might be wondering why I actually uh, made it here for two reasons, uh, in fact. Um, the first reason is mainly because I wanted to uh, get rid of... A certain side quest that was in the way and I thought it would be an easy thing to do because uh you know it's it's one of the side quests that is it's not necessary at this point though it has to do with uh, something in Johto as well so I just wanted to head there real quick just to like you know get it out of the way and stuff uh, the other reason is because like I said before um, this after game that I'm doing is meant to be taking place uh it's meant to be you know the traditional route of how a cancel game will be and like i said i didn't want it to kind of take forever just to get to this one point i i'm fighting awesome i'll be right back all right as i was saying i apologize in advance that uh you know, I'm doing the... I'm kind of, like, making this whole after game seem kind of, like, out of hand and, like, taking all the side quests and stuff kind of way too seriously. But, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to... Well, once everything's done, we kind of get this whole thing um, going in the flow of how it's supposed to be. Anyways, we have found Suicune once again. Having it followed here, I am starting to understand what Suicune is after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself, but I would be... Uh, but I want to be an honest trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems that Suicune's before a hilly place near water, somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. It'll just be you and me. Who will find it first? I'll challenge you. It's not really much of a challenge because it's scripted that we have to find Suicune first. Haha, -ha, so it doesn't really matter anyways. That's basically it. That's that's the side quest I wanted to get it over with. So why don't we head back to Saffron City and... Uh do something else with the machine part that we have right on our side I think it's best for us to uh, complete a few more side quests just a few more this episode might be a little bit longer than, uh, than usual maybe I don't I don't completely know though um, it kind of makes sense if I kind of you know spread it apart because uh, it is kind of the close end of this uh, side quest that we're doing so I don't know it really depends, and let's get past this guy. Oh, please tell me we could pass these people. Please tell me. We can't. You know what? Forget what I said about a long episode. I'm probably, I probably will have to make it short. Awesome. <clears throat> but hey, I'm trying to make this as good as possible. So we're gonna fight Momo and Lou. Hey, Hoenn Pokemon. Yeah, I love seeing, I love seeing Hoenn Pokemon all the time. Uh, I always thought that. It, or that generation, the first generation, and, uh, what was it, the, the fifth generation, I really like a lot, those particularly three, actually, I do, I do like the fourth, but I don't know how to, like, fit it in to anything else, I'm not sure why, maybe it's the new evolutions I like more in the fourth gen, um, <clears throat> as for the, as for the second gen, I'm kind of, like, meh with it. Maybe that's why, maybe that's the same reason why I have a feeling with, uh, 4th gen. The same problem is that, like, or a different problem is that, uh, you know, 4th gen, or 2nd gen has only 100 Pokemon. So I'm like, eh, maybe it's not really that use, that necessary to actually like that kind of gen, but I don't know. And I realized that both of my Pokemon are in the same level as the, uh, trainers, which kind of sucks. What? Why? Eek! I wonder which one was the one who said eek! Okay. Let's pass this guy, and we're good to go. Or are we? Oh my god. 
Well, you know what? Fine game. You you win. You that's what I get for trying to complete so many things in this game. All right. And I figured he had a Growlithe. Why not? Why not have a Growlithe? You are a gentleman person. That's for sure. So let me just switch out them. Um, like I said before, I, I appreciate you guys for, uh, you know, waiting uh, and being patient with me for uh, that long week or two. Yeah, that long two weeks of being gone. You know, I'm trying to, like, I, I, I was trying to put as different, as much different content as I could, like the uh, top 50 thing. But... Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I thank you guys for uh, at least being patient with that. Because it, it's getting close to the end of summer. I, I'm trying to, like, get other stuff to work on. Like, I need to get back to college, that's for sure. Um, God, it's amazing how long this Let's Play took. It's still going on. Like, we're not... Uh, I want to say we're close to being done, but I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm planning to have some bonus content to this. And it might actually happen. Now... In this purplish place, I guess you guys are very uh, similar to this place. Lavender Town, the noble town. I said before that I'm not a huge fan of Kanto, or at least the first gen. Uh, Kanto itself, I'm kind of liking. Um, but, I don't know, Kanto as a region itself is okay. It's easy to get around in that region, which is good. Um, but the problem I have with the region is that I'm not really... It doesn't really have much memorable places for, memorable places for me. Like, in Johto, there was, like, awesome places like, uh, the Tin Towers, there was the, uh, Bellsprout Tower, even though it was, like, a small dungeon, it was pretty cool to actually go around here. This place, uh, one of my favorite memorable mo memorable areas in this place is, uh, the Pokemon Tower, you know, where the graves are. Oh, boy, this game just screwed everything with it. Radio Station. Your best love shows on air around the clock. They changed the Pokemon Tower full of graves, dead Pokemon in there, and made it to a radio station. You're kidding. Okay. Now before we actually do anything. Ah, so you're the so you're the Ishan. Okay, okay. I was like, what is he talking about? So you're the Ishan who solved the power plants problem. Thank you. I never lost my job, I tell you. You're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. And our Pokegear got upgraded. It has an expansion card attached to it. Uh, this radio card allows us to listen to radio on the, in cancel now, which is good. Uh, you might think that's pretty pointless. However, let's head to the radio. If you press A, or not really A, uh, if you move the thing in like a weird order, it's kind of hard to, okay, there we go. You have the Pokey Flute. The Pokey Flute is basically what it is in the, uh, you know, original Kansas games. It is the Pokey Flute, however, it doesn't really make your opponent wake up, or your Pokemon wake up because it's not really an equipable item. However, that's really cool how they did that. Um... And as you might know, for fans of Pokemon, the Poke Flute wakes up one Pokemon. And we might know who that is. However, I still don't want to do that just yet. It might be next episode. So, I want to... With that done, we have one more thing to do. Uh, hopefully it'll work, because I tried it out before and it didn't actually do anything well with it. But hopefully it works this time. You want to head to the Mimic Girl's place. And I believe you can only do this after the uh, power plant is restored. So why don't we talk to her? And please don't switch that, man. <sighs> Hi, I heard you lost at your church Poké doll. Actually, no, I haven't heard that. It's just uh, freaking girl, man. If I find it, uh, you'll give me a Madding Train Pass. I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? Why'd you go for Vermilion City for? Pardon? God, it's like I'm looking into the. It's like I'm reading someone's mind or something, and then I'm just saying, I'm like blurting out everything that he's, that that person's saying. It's ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to avoid more NPCs here, and more AIs, and we're going to head to Vermilion City. This is a very uh, important thing for us to do, um, in terms of faster travel at least. Um, I guess some people don't really mind it too much, but I don't know, I kind of like it. It's, it's pretty helpful. Head to Vermilion City, and you want to head back to the Pokemon Fan Club, where we got that rare candy from the chairman. 
And with that, you see a Clefairy statue. But alongside it, you see a Clefairy doll. Why don't we talk to that fat guy again? I love Clefairy, but I, but I could never catch one, so I'm making do with the Poke doll that I found. What? The girl who lost his Pokeball was sad. Okay, could you give this to the girl? Well, I'm gonna have to. It's the lost item. Alright. And with that done, we could head back to the uh, lost girl here, and I just can't get enough with this beautiful music. And oh my god, Pokemon fans, rejoice! My name is Steven, the champion from the Hoenn region. Until someone decided to be, until someone decided to replace you in Emerald version, which I was pissed about. Have we met before? That's not possible. All the trainers I have battled seem to have the same look anyway, especially the ones who gave me tough battles. By the way, have you heard of the Pokemon called Latias? I'm investigating why Latias, a, Ho a Pokemon from Hoenn, decided to leave Hoenn to come here. Latias is a Pokemon that has a lot to do with the Soul Dew, a gem-like orb. Considering the fact that Latias is now in Kanto, it is possible to assume that this has to do with the Soul Dew. Latias is a Pokemon that travels a great distance. It will be difficult to find without any machine to track with, but any trainer will be drawn to it, won't they? I must go. May our journeys cross again. For those who play Ruby and Sapphire, that is the champion Steven, who actually gets brought into this, uh, into this game, which I love so much. I really do like Steven, and he showed us a picture of Latias, a legendary from Hoenn, and if you're playing Soul Silver, he will show you a different legendary. Uh, it's actually going to be the Blue Eon Bird Latios. Um, it really depends on the version, and it's pretty interesting that they decided to put uh, Johto, or not Johto, Hoenn Pokemon in this game. I didn't think they would do that, but yeah. If you're wondering what we're going to do with it, we are going to catch them. However... Um, one of them is going to be for a bonus episode. Latias, in fact, might be for this, uh, might be for the after game. As you can see, the map, Latias is pretty close by. However, the problem is we kind of have another Pokemon to catch that is roaming around. And since both of those Pokemon are pretty hard to catch, it's kind of sort of going to be tough for me to do. Um, but don't get me wrong, it's not like I'm impossible to try to do these things, because I did catch an Entei in Leaf Green, and that was fun. Uh, was it Leaf Green? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yay, that's my Clefairy Pokeball doll. See the tears where the right arm is sewn on? That's proof. Proof that you were crying? I wasn't sure what you were referring to. Okay, I'll give you this Magnet Train Pass, as I promised. And we get the pass. Awesome. No longer a Magnet Train Pass, though, but the book company gave me that when they tore down our old house for the station. Whoa! Pretty dark. I didn't think that the Saffron... What's with Kanto destroying everyone's hopes and dreams? Like, seriously, the radio station replaces the uh, Pokemon Tower, and now the train station replaces someone's house. This is not turning out to be a fantastic region that is, as it used to be. Now, if you're wondering what uh, the Magnet Train does, it actually... Well, I guess we could test it out right now. Uh, because I'm not really planning on using it too much. Or maybe we will. Uh, you know what? Let's head back. Oh. Whoop! The train is about to leave to go to Rock City. Yep, that's right. Uh, I guess I will use it some other time, but not right now. Uh, the Magnet Train heads all the way... Stop selecting that. I keep selecting the wrong thing. Okay. The Magnet Train heads all the way to the left up to Golden Rod City. A little bit down, I guess. Uh, it's a great way to travel. It's a little bit... Sim it's a lot more convenient than the uh, SSN since that's not really on the schedule. You can ride this whenever you want. Um, and yeah, you don't have to worry about anything else. In this game, though, it is easier to get uh, across region regions just by flying to them. Uh, basically, what you can do is fly from one area to Indigo Plateau and then to Johto. You can do that in this game, but if you don't have a flying Pokemon and you don't want to go to the PC to just switch them out, then I understand your problem. You can uh, just easily, easily, uh, you know, just take the Magna Train and it'll be good to do. Now, with all of that done, I know you guys are really, really uh, getting tired of these uh, side quests and stuff, but I promise it will be almost done. Let's just uh, get Typhlosion out, because we are about to take down a big, big issue 
at Vermilion City. So I want to get him, and every time I look at this, I like, uh, is this how much Pokemon I really have? Probably after this Let's Play, I probably might delete this game one more time just to make a really good team. Um, though this team is very good. I don't know. I, I, I was thinking about having a Caesar in my future play playthrough instead of Heracross, but I have no idea yet. Alright, with that done, without talking to more AIs again, of course, I'm not going to do that. Next time in Pokemon Heart Gold, with the Train Pass that we've gotten, and the Poke Flute into our radio, we can now wake up this tub of lard. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all whenever.